In 1683, Nathaniel Bond of Lutton bought the estate from the Williams family. From then on, right up to the evacuation, it remained in control of the Bonds. Their home was Tynham House, or the Great House, as it was known. With its Elizabethan Purbeck stone main section and high Victorian windows along the ground floor, the house was described by Thomas Bond as one of the finest country houses in Purbeck. Inside, the many rooms were ornately decorated and looked out over semi-tropical plants that thrived in the mild, moist climate of the valley. Beyond the immaculate lawns, was an avenue of tall beech trees. The Royal Air Force requisitioned Tynham House to accommodate female personnel, or WAFs as they were known, forcing the Bonds to move into Museum Cottage in the village. Well, this is reminiscing and thinking back about 66 years ago. My time in the WAF, when as a 19-year-old radar operator living in what was the old rectory. I suppose, well, obviously there was no vicar or family living there then, so the girls were billeted in this old empty rectory. We were just in rooms with iron bedsteads, no other furniture, and the men were camping under canvas in the village. Well, as more people arrived, the station hadn't yet been opened, but the operation station, but when the other people started to arrive to get the station operational, they decided that there were more girls and they should be billeted in what was the old manor house, a beautiful old house that had been in the Bond family, a well-known Dorset family that had lived in this, this house for many, many generations, I believe. So the girls moved up there and we were 